This is application example 705-1 in the 2015 International Building Code Illustrated Handbook. The problem statement gives the following. A non-sprinkler group S1 building of type 3B construction has an exterior wall as shown located 12 feet from an interior lot line. Determine the maximum area permitted for unprotected openings. The allowable area of openings on exterior walls is governed by IBC section 705.8.1, which refers the code user to table 705.8 for the maximum area percentages of exterior walls in any story that can contain either protected or unprotected openings. Section 705.8.1 contains a number of exceptions. The exception 2 permits an unlimited number of unprotected openings where the exterior non-bearing walls and exterior primary structural frame are not required to be fire resistance rated. IBC Table 601 specifies the minimum fire resistance rating requirements for primary structural frames and Table 602 specifies the minimum fire resistance rating requirements for non-bearing exterior walls based on fire separation distance. For a fire separation distance of at least 10 feet, but not more than 30 feet, for a group S1 occupancy, the fire resistance rating of the exterior walls is one hour for type 3B construction, labeled as others in the second column. IBC section 705.8.1 exception 2 therefore is not applicable and table 705.8 needs to be consulted. Shown here is the applicable portion of table 705.8 which specifies the maximum area of both protected and unprotected exterior wall openings as a function of fire separation distance. For a non-sprinkler building located with a fire separation distance of 12 feet, up to 15% of the wall on each story is permitted to be unprotected, and up to 45% of the wall is permitted to be a protected opening, protected in, in accordance with sections 716.5 and 716.6. Where an exterior wall on any story has both protected and unprotected openings, the unity formula as set forth in section 705.8.4 determines the maximum areas of the openings. The simple explanation of equation 7-2 is to say that if a percentage of the protected openings is utilized on an exterior wall of a story, then the remaining percentage is the total area permitted for unprotected openings. So, for this example, 83 square feet are protected openings. Protected openings are permitted by table 705.8 to encompass up to 45% of the 720 square foot wall, which is 324 square feet. Only 25% of the wall area that is permitted to consist of the protected openings does consist of protected openings. The balance, which is 75%, is then carried over for the unprotected openings. Unprotected openings are permitted by Table 705.8 to encompass up to 15% of the 720 square foot wall, which is 108 square feet. 75% of 108 is 81 square feet. 81 square feet, therefore, is the maximum area of unprotected openings permitted in this example based on the area of protected openings that has already been specified. As a further note, had 324 square feet of protected openings been specified, then the unity equation 7-1 would not have allowed any unprotected openings at all. The maximum areas for each protected opening 
and unprotected openings in Table 705.8 assume that only one type of opening will be present. When both protected and unprotected openings are present, sum, the sum of the actual areas of the openings over the permitted areas of the openings is limited to 1 per equation 7-2.